My thing is, before, so here's the thing with me at the very beginning. I don't know. What did courses open up? Beginning of April? Uh, so, so I'm open in March. March. I played in March, yeah. So pro- I was probably playing April. I probably got two rounds in, played terrible. And I just had a conversation with myself. It's like, okay, Justin, before you go back out and spend another $60, spend $30 at the driving range, spend hours there and figure out your clubs and figure out what you're good at. So before, you know, probably from the beginning of April from when I played all the way up until maybe a week, maybe two weeks ago, I didn't play. I was just at the driving range figuring out my, uh, I guess my mechanics and then coming home, going on YouTube, looking at, uh, one guy I really like, uh, Ben Hogan, his name is. Yep, ben, yeah, he's, Man, an old, he's an old guy. I, I, he has some great videos on YouTube on how to on how to drive the ball. But at the end of the day, when I find myself going back to the driving range, or even just playing, it's not about what everyone's been telling me. It's about what makes most sense for me and what's most comfortable for me. Mm-hmm. On my driver, I'm probably swinging that thing. 50, maybe 40% hard, like my 40% mm-hmm. power. But here's the thing. It's going straight. It's not going far, but at least it's not going You're in the play. woods left and right, yeah. and I'm not dropping a ball for another swing. Yep. So my, my game plan is with every single club I have, um, swing 40, 50, God, maybe 60% and keep it straight so I'm not dropping a ball. And that's been working for me at least for the past two to three weeks. And hopefully by August I'll be able to bring a power swing maybe up to 80%. But that's just my game plan going forward. And with that, I'm having more fun because I'm not in the woods every shot looking for the ball. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, um, especially when you're playing golf and you're new to it, I mean, you just want to you want to get up there and you just want to crush the ball. 100%. And, and that's, that's what people want. They want to see the ball go super far. Yeah. And that thing, and sometimes with people that are new, it's like you just dial the swing back, slow it down a little bit, just, just see something, put it in play, yeah. you know, get it so you're not losing a ball every hole and having to drop and – and just kind of doing something that works for you and just being consistent to yourself. Like yeah. if you're playing with, you know, your buddies who do, you know, play a lot and they're hitting it, you know, 250, 260 down the middle and you're hitting it, you know, 200, 210, it's not a big deal. You're still in play and yeah. it, you're, you're not really comparing yourself to them. It's, it's just about yourself. hundred percent. And that's like, that's my hockey background and like the ego a little bit. It's like, yeah. oh, he can do that. I can do that too. Exactly. But then you almost have, it's, it, I can't even, I can't compare it to any other sport uh, mentally because, you know, if you have a hockey puck and maybe you got a basketball, you, you, uh, it, 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 not basketball, but any sport that requires power, like a hockey shot, um, maybe like a, th- a quarterback and a throw for throwing a football, it has really nothing to do with that. It's all about touch, and I feel with that touch, it's just repetition. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's such an interesting. I, I, I've just never had a. I've never played a game that was more of a mental breakdown for myself, like golf. It, it's, it, it's so much more mental, I find, than, uh, than the actual physical part of it. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Yeah, no, for sure. I think like I think golf is 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 so is so mental. Uh, especially, you know, because it's not a team sport. You're out there alone. Yeah. You're out there right. all by yourself, and and you got to be accountable for you know when you have a bad day or and, and a good day. But you know, with a team sport, you know, there's always you know you can kind of shift the blame to someone else. Oh, you know, he didn't have his guy, or you know, I had a good game, but yeah. you know, the other my team, the rest of my team didn't. Yeah, no, you're all you're out there by yourself, and it's it's super mental, especially you know when you're playing in a tournament. Um, have you ever played in a tournament? I have, yeah. No, I try and get out, Whoa. play in as many as I as I can. Um, so it can be expensive and stuff, but so I, you're like in an amateur tournament. Yeah. Are you a pro? You're no, no, no. I'm an amateur. No, I'm not a pro. So no. anyone could join an amateur tournament. And yeah, if you wanted to sign up for a tournament, yeah, if you saw one online, you call up the golf course and you, you just you know give them your credit card number and, and you're signed up. Kind what of do thing. you win if you win an amateur tournament? Uh, so there'd be yeah, you'd get money to like the pro. Sh- you don't get you can't get actual physical Cash. money. Yeah, because okay. then you'd technically be a pro. Okay, so yeah. what do you get? Just so you'd get like. Uh, Clubs, okay. Like they would give you, you know, like a good tournament, you'd win, you know, a top of the line driver. It'd be like six hundred bucks. You can take it and then just sell it. Wow. And, and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, there's different kind of prize. They have different kind of prizes, like golf clubs, gift cards to the pro shop, golf shoes, shirts, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But back to back to it just being so so mental. Like you're out there alone, and especially when like things aren't going your way and you're having a bad day, it can get it can get lonely out there for sure. You're just kind of down yeah. on yourself and you kind of dwell on the bad shots you hit, but it's so it's so mental in the fact that you just got to move on and focus on the next hole and just try and stay as positive as you can. And that's that's the hard thing is when you're not playing good, it's just like try to see the light at the end of the tunnel and be positive. Yeah, you have no one to look to. Like, you, mm-hmm. you know, of course you have your buddies and go, yeah, good job, whatever. But at the end of the day, you have no one to blame. You have no one to lean it's, on. It's all on you. Yeah, and especially if you've played a team sport your whole life, it's a different environment mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, you're with your buddies. But one thing I also do like about the game of golf, it's a high morale. You know, even if you miss your putt, it's all you know. Great putt, Jack. Good job. You'll get that next time. You know, yeah. that's it's good vibes. You know, all yeah. Around. You want you want to see all your friends do well out yeah. there when you're playing together. You got you 
I mean, you want to beat them at the same time, but you also, you know, you don't want to shoot 75 and then you're bu- playing your buddy and he shoot 88. You kind of want to beat him when you shoot 75 and he shoots 76 and it yeah. comes down the last hole. Yeah. You know, it's a lot more fun that way. 